to New York. Hey, go, go, go. Hey guys, so we got here to New York City last night and we went to see the Rockettes at Radio City Music Hall. I'm not crazy into dancing, but the choreography and the singing and the dancing, everything that goes into it, the live orchestra, was just incredible. Next we went to Rockefeller Center where we checked out the Christmas lights and uh, some cool light shows. What do you think of that? Awesome! What? That's me in that building, see? Look, in that building! That's me! Yeah, look! We're in short right now. This place is so cool. And then we went and checked out the amazing lights of Times Square. And then I was lucky enough this morning to get to play some outdoor hockey. Certainly not a bad uh, outdoor rink set up here in Summit. The, the added bonus to a full-size rink is uh, the heated place to get ready. Now we are here. Uh, behind us is some statue. Tessa, what's the statue called again? It's the green girl holding the light. Yeah, that one. Right there. New York City is just incredible. Behind the Statue of Liberty, in front of us, Peace Tower, World Trade Center, whatever you want to call it. It's a very chilly day for New York City. But that's not going to hinder us from exploring. Now headed into this building right here, Museum of Jewish Jew Heritage. Jewish Heritage. I guess it's about the Holocaust. Tess is quite interested. Tell you all about it when we get out. All right, just spent some time in the museum. It was really an amazing museum. It sort of filled in some details with the Holocaust that I didn't know about, um, and really told a good story about everything that went that happened really an emotional experience um, but a good one and I highly recommend it's interesting growing up and maturing because like I've always considered myself not to like museums but when it's as interesting as one like that about the Holocaust and there's so many different stories to be told I finally went around and actually like paid attention and read different things and it was really an amazing experience. Never thought I'd say that about a museum. Here we come, New York! Here in a very fancy food court, uh, I got a pork belly sandwich. It was ten dollars. Almost pretty much the cheapest thing in here. The sandwich was good. Now here approaching the Ground Zero Memorial. That's the Peace Tower there. And uh, I'm excited to see this. Last time I saw it, it was just a hole in the ground. So normally there's actually a waterfall that starts right here. Because it's a winter and high winds and stuff, they should turn that part of it off. Still pretty spectacular though. <laughs> the crazy building that you see right there, 
That is uh, the new Grand Central Station. It's pretty cool. I did a university project on the architect that designed that. He's a pretty, pretty incredible guy. As before, I dropped out. Here's the second one. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Just like another big fancy mall in here. Now taking this subway back to Penn Station. This is the Tories. Having an empire state of mind right now. Where is it? What the heck? Is this what you need? You got it? Okay. Okay. Tess will always love the NYPD. Famous Madison Square Garden. Oh! Hey, that's me. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the end of our day in New York City. Me and Tess are lucky enough to have an uncle that lives in Southern New Jersey. This is where we're taking the train back to right now. Make sure you guys like, live now on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and we'll see you guys in a few days. I got a ski trip coming. Stay tuned for that.